Hello everyone, this is Juan from CanHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where right now I'm going to be talking about the cervical spine. And in this tutorial, we will cover the cervical vertebrae, which are the vertebrae of the neck immediately inferior to your skull. We talk about the structure and parts identifiable on the cervical vertebrae on this tutorial. And you can clearly see it here highlighted in green on this image. We will also talk about the overall structure of the bones of the cerv cervical spine, as well as some of the ligaments, not many. We will focus on a different tutorial on the different ligaments that we find on this region of the body. But for now, I might just add a couple so you can understand what is happening there. Now, the cervical vertebrae are the smallest vertebrae in the spinal column. And the reason for that would be because these vertebrae are not carrying as much weight as these ones that need to be carrying more weight, and for that reason need to be a little bit bigger. Another reason I have to say that our body is engineered in a very cool way. Now there are, as you can see here on this image, seven cervical vertebrae. The first one the second and also here the seven have a unique shape while the third to six vertebrae are similar in shape and structure. We're going to start off with the very first vertebra here that you see on the screen. This is known as the atlas and here we're not highlighting it because this is the entire bone and this is if we were to look at it from a superior view. This is the first cervical vertebra and the first vertebra in the spinal column. It is unique in that it lacks a body and a spinal process and it is the only vertebra that articulates with a skull forming then this joint here, the atlanto-occipital joint. The atlanto-occipital joint is now seen here highlighted in green and is formed between the atlas and you notice here the first vertebra, the atlas and also the occipital condyles that you find at the base of the skull on the occipital bone. This joint is a movable joint and better known as a synovial joint. The next structures that we're going to highlight here, this is now part of the atlas. This is known as the lateral mass of the atlas. And the lateral masses of the atlas are thickened portions of the atlas that support the skull. They have an inferior and a superior facet which articulate with and support the occipital condyles and the axis superiorly and inferiorly respectively. The next structure that we're going to be highlighting here, this is known as the anterior arch of the atlas. And the anterior arch of the atlas has an anterior tubercle and a dental fovea. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website. Not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and Master Anatomy.